Today's topic is about coenzyme. We have seen about the enzyme. They are the simply biocatalysts. Now in detail of the coenzyme. So enzyme may be a simple protein or complex enzyme which is containing a non-protein part. And this non-protein part that is called a prosthetic group or artificial part of the molecule for the working of the enzyme. So the protein part of the enzyme is then named as a apoenzyme. Apo means a protein part of the enzyme that is apoenzyme while the prosthetic group which is considered as a coenzyme. So these two portion combined together is called as a holoenzyme. So what is that holoenzyme? Apoenzyme means a protein part of enzyme and other this prosthetic group that is called a coenzyme and this two apoenzyme and coenzyme combine and make a holoenzyme. So which are the main features of coenzyme that we will look. The protein part of enzymes give the necessary three dimensional infrastructure for the chemical reaction while the group is transferred from or accepted by the coenzyme. So various molecules are accepted or transferred with from this coenzyme. Simple some example of coenzyme that is NADH, NADPH, ATP they are basically working as a coenzyme which are used to accept or transfer molecules from this enzyme activity. So coenzyme is essential for the biological activity of the enzyme. It is low molecular weight heat stable organic substance. So they are the low molecular weight but most important thing that is heat stable while enzyme they are mostly heat labile. So further this inside the body when the reaction is completed the coenzyme is released from the apoenzyme means a protein part of enzyme and can bind to the another enzyme molecule so simple how it is occurring that we are looking glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is converted into the 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate that is one of the reaction of the glycolysis now in this reaction enzyme that is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase that is the enzyme needed for conversion of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate to 1,3 bisphosphoglycerate formation now in this coenzyme that is NAD plus so it is converted into the NADH so this dehydrogenase that is working as an enzyme and NAD plus that is working as a coenzyme which is accepting hydrogen and converted into the NADH now what happened pyruvate that is also converted into the lactate that is also a part of this glycolysis process now in this enzyme that is lactate dehydrogenase is needed which is mostly a protein part now this coenzyme which is generated NADH due to that previous reaction of this dehydrogenase that is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase this NADH is again utilized by this lactate dehydrogenase to reconvert pyruvate to the lactate so this NADH and NAD plus these two combinedly working as a coenzyme for this reaction so one molecule of the coenzyme is able to convert a large number of substrate molecule with the help of enzyme so in previously we have seen that two different enzyme that is glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase and lactate dehydrogenase but over that enzyme are different for both the reaction but particularly coenzyme that is NAD plus from that NADH is generated NADH is utilized for the second reaction or next reaction so most of the coenzymes are derivatives of vitamin B complex substance so coenzyme may be divided into two groups so same as a enzyme classification sometime it is asked about the coenzyme group or classification so these are the two group those taking part in reaction catalyzed by oxidoreductase that is the first class of the enzyme classification in IUBMB classification so this oxidoreductase by donating or accepting hydrogen atom or electron so that is one group of coenzyme that is mostly involved with the reaction in relation to the enzyme of oxidoreductase classes now another group of this coenzyme these are taking part in reaction transferring group other than hydrogen so that first group of coenzyme in the first group the change occurring in the substrate is counterbalanced by the coenzyme so such coenzymes may be considered a co-substrate or secondary substrate now example that is NAD plus to NADH NADP plus to NADPH which is mostly generated in HMP sand pathway 
FAD to FADH2, FMN to FMNH2. So these are involved in a transfer of hydrogen or particularly electron. So basically this hydrogen is involved in all these four reactions and they are considered first group of the coenzyme. Now second group of coenzyme, this coenzyme take part in reaction transferring group other than hydrogen. So most of them belonging to the vitamin B complex. So thiamine pyrophosphate that is vitamin B1, thiamine which is involved in a hydroxy ethyl group transfer pyridoxal phosphate which is most importantly involved in a particularly protein metabolism pyridoxal phosphate vitamin b6 that is involved in a amino group transfer biotin biotin that is involved in a carbon dioxide transportation as well as coenzyme a which is most important part of this lipid metabolism acyl group transportation tetrahydrofolic acid which is involved in a one carbon group so lots of one carbon methinyl methylene methyl group that all are transferred with the help of tetrahydrofolic acid folic acid is also a part of the vitamin b complex coenzyme a that is called vitamin b5 so these all are the mostly derived from the particular vitamin b complex adenosine triphosphate that is involved most commonly in a phosphate transport simple you are knowing that atp is donating phosphate and convert into the adp and as well as releasing the energy these all are included in a second group of the coenzyme so that's all about the coenzyme that is a prosthetic group or non-protein part of the enzyme enzyme activity and it is categorized in a two group first group involved in a transfer of hydrogen second group that is involved other than hydrogen group so that's all about the coenzyme